Hello, uh, this is uh, Yuri Murakami. Um, I would, I'm going to give you a tour of my um, GPU cluster slash mining rig uh, tent. Uh, this is a cooling solution that I saw on YouTube from another user, I believe, of uh, Angry Chicken. And uh, this is to lower the room temperature of the, the mining rig where it resides. So this room used to get to about 85 degrees uh, Fahrenheit with one mining rig. Uh, there's no AC in this room. Uh, I wish there was, but with this new cooling solution, uh, I increased the number of GPUs from six 1080 Ti's when the rig was just sitting on the floor right there to um, 12 1080 Ti's. And uh, the room temperature has decreased significantly to roughly 75 degrees Fahrenheit average with lows of 70s to highs of like 79. Um, uh, this cooling solution works very well. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, and yeah, so I will show you the thermostat really quickly. So right now, the room is at... is at 75.7 degrees. This corner of the room is a bit hotter though, so I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, and yeah. You can see the uh, the fans. Those are uh, I have two Vortex inline six-inch fans um, running, uh, not at max speed. The inside there's one inside the tent right there, and there's one outside of the tent right here. Uh, they're contr they're controlled by the fan controllers on um, right there, and uh, I can adjust it. Right now there is a negative. Um, a negative pressure inside of the tent created by uh, that one because the, the this inline fan has a filter on it, so it's a weaker um, it is a weaker uh, pull than this top one. I am using dryer sheets as the filters, and they work extremely well. They are not too thick, and they actually can collect a lot of dust. Uh, the ones I buy are very cheap, and I buy them at the local local uh, Daiso. Um, so let me give you a quick tour inside of the tent and uh, show you my uh, 12 GPU setup. So as you can see, I have two stackable mining rigs. The bottom ones are EVGA 1080 Ti Superclock uh, Black Editions, and the top uh, two of them are the Galaxy X EXOC Whites, and these are just the um, oh gosh, uh, they're they're the same thing but they're in black. Um, so let me uh, just give you a quick tour of the tent. This is following the Angry Chicken design. As you can see, I have two outlets from the other room. These are 12 gauge. Um, extension cords to pull off of another 20 amp breaker because this room I already maxed it out and so here we can see the mining rig so here is the sec first inline fan pulling into the tent and it is pulling air in and exhausting it out these small holes the very end of this is taped off with um, aluminum duct, ta duct taping I have a i7 7700K with 8 gig stick of RAM in there uh, on a Hero 9 motherboard with two Corsair 1000 watt RMI power supplies. These are gentle Typhoon fans to minimize them. I also have some Delta fans that are turned off currently because they are just way, way too loud. I plug it in, uh, it's just mind blowingly loud. So. Yeah, that's about 50 decibels, so I did not want to use those. On the top, we have an Asus Prime um, X or Z270 motherboard with uh, risers and uh, i3. This i7 was a spare i7, so I didn't choose an i7 based on that with the 8 gig stick. This system used to have 16 gigs, but I just took one of the sticks and brought it up here, and uh, two RM1000 watt power supplies. So these risers are the risers with all the kinds of connectors on them, as you can see there. I'm using Molex, and uh, two Molexes, uh, 
one one Molex cable to two risers for every single card. So I am using uh, there are in, uh, two for each. Uh, the bottom one are also Molex uh, connectors. I do not like the uh, the other ones. So as you can see, the Molex connectors there. And uh, yeah, here are the um, the Galaxy cards. These are reference cards. The Galaxy ones are reference cards, and these are almost reference cards, but um, they're not. Uh, I'm ordering uh, 12 EK water blocks because these fans get very loud, and the instant I open the tent, it is actually raising the room temperature. So um, there is a negative air pressure in this tent, which is created by um, choosing the fan speeds. So the bottom one is maxed out as high as it can go. It's actually just switched to full right now instead of using the var variable fan. And then the top one is uh, put on almost high. And uh, this is the balance between uh, noise and acoustics. Uh, I did integrate, integ uh, enable integrated graphics so that I can uh, plug it directly into the motherboard rather than the graphics card to improve the hash rates on the graphics cards. Uh, if you do not em enable it, you will lose a bit of mega hash, so I disabled that. The HDMI cords are put through this hole and is uh, Velcro taped on. And this hole in the back has my Ethernet cables as well as uh, two USB 3.0 cables going to each of them. And on the end, I can use a splitter to plug in a keyboard and mouse to debug whatever problems there are. Uh, this way, I do not, if, if there's an issue with the BIOS, I don't have to plug it into the graphics card and reach my arm in the back because that is very difficult. Um, my cooling solution that I have right now is fairly good. The only problem is it's a little bit noisy because of the graphics cards. The inline fans actually are quieter than the graphics cards and are doing a great job cooling them. My plan is to get two 480mm uh, radiators and I uh, contacted the Amazon seller for these fan brackets and I will be using the long radiator screws to replace these screws and put a radiator on four of these and then turn these fans outward so the air will be pushing. Uh, or yeah, turn these fans so the air will be pushing this way and the radiator will be pushing it away. Um, the graphics cards will also get an improved hash rate, which I can see from my personal rig over here that has two 1080 Ti's water cool. These are also mining when they are not being used. So here's a quick look at this system. This is an i7 with a 6850K and uh, these graphics cards reach about um, 50 degrees Celsius. Well, these are maxed out at 84, their temp limit. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to water cool these and I will give you guys an update. Bye.